Welcome back to The End Zone. I'm your host, Brandon, and I'm joined by the boys, Tim and Paul. As always, if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe, and let us know your top five for this position group. But with that being said, let's get started. Looking down the top five linebacker prospects in the upcoming NFL 2023 draft. All right, at number five, we got Dorian Williams out of Tulane. Uh, he's six foot one, 228 pounds, um, so he's a little bit undersized. Um, he had two great years in 2021 and 2022 um, i'd argue to say that he is the best pass coverage linebacker in the class um, but again being 228 um, pounds he, he you know he's kind of tough to to stop you know these bigger running backs and especially when you get a, a tackle or a guard pulling to, to go after him so i think that really at the next level he's going to be a an excelling outside linebacker in a 4-3 scheme uh, but yeah take it away paul what, do you, what are your thoughts on dorian williams yeah definitely a sleeper pick um, coming out of Tulane. He had a six foot eight wingspan um, which definitely helps him, you know, his, his, like you said, his, he's a pass coverage linebacker. Uh, that's his strength. He had an 87.0 uh, grade from PFF as far as his coverage, uh, which was number one is, as far as the linebacker prospects. Um, but that six foot eight wingspan definitely helps him, you know, get his hands up in zone coverage. Um, does struggle a little bit with getting those zone drops from the tape I've watched. Uh, but he, he is very good at not biting on play action Uh so that is definitely going to be a plus side at the next level. And at number four, we got Trenton Simpson out of Clemson at 6'2", 235 pounds. Um, he's a little bit thinner, but I, I do think that he's one of the prototypical uh, linebacker sizes in the NFL. Um, he had three solid years at Clemson. Um, even though they struggled this past year, this guy still has had elite production um, coming from the uh, – pass coverage game and as, as well as the pass rush. I mean, this guy had, if I'm not mistaken, a combined around 13 sacks for the year. Um, he, he's pretty decent in the run game. Um, I think he's going to be a solid starter at the next level, uh, but he might be, you know, potentially like a Kobe Dean where he does have to sit one year and kind of learn the defensive schemes and how to not bite on play action. Cause that's the one thing that I will say, Paul, that I caught him on was biting on the play action. Yeah. And that's a trick for every linebacker. I mean, that's what the, they're taught to play run first. Um, if they are a middle linebacker, that's what their you know that's their job. Uh, but I, I will say I was I was watching the uh, the franchise guy on, here on YouTube. Shout out Marcus. Uh, he was talking about Trenton Simpson. He he mentioned that they were using him completely wrong. He thinks he's more of like a Michael Parsons. I'm not saying he's like Michael Parsons, but kind of he is that in that role where he's that undersized linebacker, but he's fast and he's got really good pass rush moves. Um, now, if an NFL team drafts him for that reason and kind of sends him on more blitz, that's up to them. Um, who knows if that's actually what's going to happen, but in six, six sacks as a middle linebacker, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, you are expecting that out of an edge kind of guy, but it, an undersized, you know, middle linebacker question from the middle the inside, uh, definitely, you know, kind of impressive stat line there. Absolutely. All right. And at number three, we got Drew Sanders out of Arkansas. I believe you measured in at about 6'4", 6'5", 235 pounds. So he's a little bit more of the prototypical uh, old school linebacker. Um, he is 22 years old. Um, he started off, uh, I believe, as a defensive end at, at Alabama after being a five-star recruit out of the state of Texas. Um, he didn't get much playing time playing on the defensive end, or I think he was an edge rusher. Um, but then he transferred to Arkansas. And then this past year, this guy was an absolute monster. 103 tackles, nine and a half sacks, and five uh, pass, de pass deflections. Uh, this guy can kind of line up similar to like what you said about the Micah Parsons mold. I think this guy is a very good athlete and can really get after it. Um, very, very fast. Um, I think that he does kind of try to like put, you know, lay the hit on people sometimes a little more than he should, um, as he does get, you know, broken tackles pretty, pretty frequently. So I think his broken tackle rate is probably one of the higher uh, of the class. But again, I think this guy's a pretty good athlete um, that, that really helps at the next level as a linebacker. And again, one productive season in the SEC is all you need for me. Especially one, pro one productive season after transitioning from predominantly pass rushing. Uh, to that off-ball linebacker role, you love to see the 103 tackles. Like I said, he did have uh, one of the higher missed tackle rates at 22 missed tackles. Um, it's definitely something that's more of an instinctual thing rather than something. I mean, you can coach tackling, but I mean, the aggressiveness and the nose for the ball, like that's something that kind of just comes with time. Uh, he is a, a very raw prospect that, you know, you can also put him out on the edge, kind of like a TJ Watt, drop him into coverage. Uh, I think this guy, I mean, obviously, if you put up sacks in the SEC against SEC uh, offensive tackles, you're you're definitely going to get some nods from some coaches, and uh, it's definitely going to rise you up some some draft boards there. Absolutely. And at number two, we got Dion Henley out of uh, Washington State. 
Um, this guy is 6'2", 225 pounds, so he's a little bit undersized. Um, he's a former wide receiver, convert to linebacker. Um, he had two solid years in 2021 and in 2022, where he combined for about 200 tackles and five interceptions. Um, this guy, again, he can fly around the field. I think he's probably the most athletic out of the whole bunch here. Um, but again, he is a little undersized, uh, at least for my liking. But I think that he will be pretty, you know, well off as far as the pass coverage at the next level. Um, again, I, I kind of project him to be an outside linebacker, um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I definitely think a will linebacker is his kind of bread and butter. You know, that you said converted wide receiver. Uh, he, you can definitely see that on tape. He has great ball, uh, you know, ball skills. Three passes deflected, four interceptions. So he's not letting a lot of hit the ground. Um, he understands those kind of the offensive schemes and why they're attacking the middle of the field. Uh, knows where to drop in zone. Um, had a great missed tackle rate. Only had five missed tackles all season, which is pretty impressive uh, coming from you know an offensive a guy that's converting to defense. Um, 6 two, 225, like you said. Uh, he is all muscle, though. I mean, he could probably put on a little bit more. But as far as like a, a weak side linebacker, He's quick. He can play pass coverage, and you know he's he's a good tackler. I think that's a very good mold for the next level. All right, and at number one, we got Jack Campbell out of Iowa, six five, about two hundred fifty pounds. This guy is exactly what you want out of prototypical linebacker at the next level. Um, he had solid production in twenty twenty one and in twenty twenty two. He does pretty well in the pass coverage. Um, side of the of the game but he's not again he's not a pass coverage linebacker he's an off-ball linebacker that you know can do some pass coverage um but i i like him a lot when he's you know coming off and, and trying to you know disrupt plays or you know even as a blitzer um he is a very good athlete for his size uh, but again I, I like this guy a lot i think he you know has some good comps at the nfl um and and could really do well in a lot of people's schemes yeah captain jack from iowa here um Again, one of those kind of guys I was watching while I was watching Ohio State games. He had a one-handed pick against C.J. Stroud, uh, one of his of his six on the season. I was like, man, who is this? Like, what? That's a middle linebacker making the play like that? And didn't know he was 6'5". Um, I think he has the best floor out of any of the linebackers. Obviously, the only prospect that's projected to go round one, maybe round two. Um, but uh, as far as, you know, pure linebackers, 6'5", 250 pounds, Ran a four five nine, I believe, um, for his forty. He doesn't look as fast as sort of like a uh, Drew uh, Sanders, and I think his upside would probably be a little bit more than Jack Campbell. But as far as a prospect right now, um, and as far as a strictly middle linebacker, you know, the typical Luke Keekley, Brian Erlacher, Jack Campbell is your guy.